Hey kids, no Charlotte's Web today, uh, but we're going to read three in one again. Now that we've had the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and we've had the life of Jesus on earth, we're going to just look at this book one more time. Here is one apple. There is one true God. The apple is three parts, the peel, the flesh, which is the white part inside, and the core, which is the center with the seeds. The one true God has three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three parts of the apple are still the apple. The peel is apple. It is not an orange. It is not a banana. The flesh is apple. It is not a pear. It is not a plum. The core is apple. It is not grapefruit. It is not watermelon. But these three, the peel, flesh, core, they're not three apples, but just one apple. All three persons of the one true God are God. God the Father is God. God the Son is God. God the Holy Spirit is God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit are not three gods, but just one God. Now the three parts of the apples have different purposes or jobs. The peel protects the apple. It keeps the apple healthy. The flesh of the apple is good to eat. Lots of good things to eat are made from the flesh of the apple. Apple pie, apple crisp, apple sauce, apple cider, apple dumplings, apple jelly, apple sauce cake, apple fritters. The core of the apple contains the seed from which apple trees grow. When just one seed is planted in the ground, the result is many, many, many apples. Like the apple, the three persons of the one true God have different purposes too. God the Father is our protector. He made us, he loves us and protects us. Even, he makes even bad things turn out for our good. He keeps things growing so we have food. He keeps you me, all people, all things, even apples, growing cows, carrots, even apples. Sometimes we do things God doesn't like. God said there must be a punishment for those things. That would make us very very sad. It would hurt a lot for a very, very long time. But God loves us so much, he sent God the Son to take the punishment for us. His name is Jesus. He was a real man. He suffered. He hurt a lot. He died. 
Jesus was buried in the ground, just like an apple seed is buried in the ground. But he was really God. Jesus is God. And just like apple seed sprouts from the ground and makes new apples, Jesus rose from the dead. And remember, we said one seed makes all of this. When Jesus rose from the dead, he made all of this beautiful, happy, wonderful, new lives just for us. But before we can have that new, beautiful, wonderful happiness, there's something else we must have. Faith in Jesus. Not be good. Not try to just be nice all the time, but have faith. Believe. When you plant an apple seed in the ground, you believe an apple tree will grow from it. That's faith in the apple seed or belief in the apple seed. When you believe that Jesus died for you and lives again to give you a beautiful, wonderful, happy new life, that's faith in Jesus. Just can't help but smile. That's faith. Our hearts are like a piece of the ground. The ground cannot plant itself with an apple seed. The ground cannot make a seed. Someone must put the seed into the ground. We cannot put faith into our own heart. We cannot put faith into our own heart, someone has to put faith into our heart. God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit makes you believe in Jesus. We can't do it by ourselves. The Holy Spirit makes us believe in Jesus. The Holy Spirit puts faith into our hearts. The Holy Spirit keeps our faith alive and growing. The Holy Spirit will help us as long as we want him to. When an apple seed is planted into the ground, the rain feeds the apple seed and it begins to grow. Remember, the minerals in the ground also help it begin to grow. It needs help. So, when the Holy Spirit puts faith into your heart and into my heart, he feeds it with God's Word. He feeds it with the Bible. He feeds it with Bible stories. He feeds it when you pray, and your faith begins to grow. It makes sense, right, kids? When the apple tree is grown up strong and healthy, it will grow apples. What are you going to grow? Goodness, patience. Kindness, peace, self-control, don't lose your temper right away. Joy, being humble, not proud, not bragging. When you pick 
take an apple from the tree, you know it's an apple. It looks like an apple. It's not a pear, it's not a grapefruit. The apple has a peel, the apple has the flesh, and if you plant a seed from its core, a new apple tree will grow. Even though it has three parts, you know you don't have three apples, just one apple. If you have faith in God, if you let the Holy Spirit into you, and you have faith in God the Father, you will believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three persons, but one true God. One true God. God the Father protecting you, caring for you. God the Son taking away the black parts of you and making you white and pure before God the Father. And God the Holy Spirit inside of you, giving you faith and helping you to become a better person, helping you to become kinder to everyone around you, giving you strength. Like you're going to see um, how, how the disciples will not be afraid anymore, but are going to be bold and talk about God because they have the Holy Spirit in them. Great book, isn't it? See you in the next video.